Okay, copper sip. Liquid gold. Hello, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a long time since I uploaded anything, I am aware. <laughs> Um, I have been doing a house move and job move and other things going on in my personal life. Um, so I've got a new setup. I'm all settled now. Um, so I want to get straight back in um, into YouTube with hopefully a couple of new series. Um, I'm starting Alien Isolation today, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I also want to do a Ghost of Tsushima um, director's cut series. I hear lots of people talking about the game, um, you know, lots of people saying it's, you know, one of their favourite games of all time, and I've never played it. So I've got the director's cut for the PS5, so I'm going to be doing a series on that as well. Um, so let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get into it. Um, so let's start the video. I'm really excited to play this game. Let's get comfy. Oh, is this just like the introduction? I think that Predator's gonna be my Final next. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Film to watch. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Oh, this is the message Parker, from the end of the alien film, isn't it? Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Cool. Exciting. Yeah, I think Predator is going to be the next one to watch because there's. I've heard mixed things about the other alien films. Um, Ripley? So I'm not sure. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. The company? It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Wait, she's the called Amanda too? The Anisadora has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I know what it is. They will want it recovering because it's got all of their dirty deeds on it. Transit sending people out there to get killed by aliens. There's a ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. This game looks so beautiful for how old it is. When this job came across it looks desk, so nice. The case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure. Like, look at you can literally see the pores on her skin. I am excited. Is. 
please sign in. Oh, Torrens. So we did take a uh, take his offer then. Explore the Torrens. Okay. Objective updated. Get dressed. Nice, simple game. I appreciate that. This is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna keep going through here, maybe. Oh no, don't look, sir, I'm not dressed yet, I'm in my panties. I can't find the clothing area, please bear with. Maybe it's in here. Oh, lockers, personal storage, so I must be going the right way. Oh, what's making that noise? Aha, me. Me, me, me. Dressed. Oh, okay. What's making that noise? This? Manually save your process. Okay, nice. I like that option. So, overwrite the save data. Yes. Because I know the game's got the autosave feature up in the top right-hand corner that just came up then. Ooh! There's like foraging and stuff too. Oh, it's empty. Amazing! Can I go in here now? Like, look at the detail. Even that, like, that diary's got so much, like, detail, like, handwriting and... Oh, hell yeah! Give me all the stuff. I'm guessing I can craft and make things then in this game. Amazing. What's this? Oh, man! I'm wet now. What's this? Villaine, you on the lookout for a navigational officer. I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The megacorps undercut him. Picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. It's Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland Jutani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you're back. Okay. Interesting. So we're dressed now. What's the new objective? I missed it. I'm assuming it must be to go and talk to that to that guy, right? Oh, it isn't space wild. Space, spaceships, it's all wild. Hello. Oh, Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't know. Ah! 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 No! People are trying to listen to the game! No! Dennis Drummer. Yes. Emeritus. A later passenger of the ferry system. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor at home? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been the condition for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Speak to Samuels. Objective completed. This looks so much like the spaceship in Alien though, right? Have they done that done that on purpose? This is mad. Use? Use what? This? 
This is where they... Oh! Wow. That is fun. That's, that's where they put him, right? In the movie when he was in a coma. What what scares me about the movie, we're going to have a, a brief real talk here whilst I'm wandering around the ship. What scares me most about the movie is that, and when I say this, I know it sounds wild, but it's entirely plausible in that on a much smaller scale, that is how, you know, parasitic organisms and a lot of insects actually work in the sense that they will um sort of burrow either into another creature or impregnate another creature and the larvae will hatch on the inside and burst you know either burst their way out or eat their way out of the host um and that is why they have such success with sort of breeding and things like that because you know, a lot of other mammals or uh, species, you know, have young but either struggle to feed them or they don't have the food source. And that is why insects usually have a good, you know, success rate with uh, with breeding and things. So, um, terrifying, really. Um, I, I studied um, a lot of things at university for my degree. Um, breeding and development was one of them uh, and insects obviously breed and develop in a vast array of uh, scenarios and situations so so we studied them quite in depth and the things I have learnt let me tell you <laughs> the things I have learnt stop me from sleeping some nights insects are horrifying uh, in every sense of the word so yeah, that's what scares me is that it seems entirely plausible. Like it, they've not just created that scenario to scare people. Like in in real life, that happens. So that's what terrifies me. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Ooh! -hoo! I feel like death. Snotty much. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. I recognise their voice. I don't do long most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Leland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Very insensitive. Leland, your mother has been missing for 15 years. And <gasps> you... It's okay. She's well, been missing for 15 right? years? She never came home? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Fifteen years. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching collapsible state. Looks like we're up. I mean, I assume that she was missing because obviously we're going to look for her, but fifteen years. Oh. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122. That's how far in advance we're supposed to be? A hundred years from now. Wow. No trace was found on its cargo or crew apart from a new science officer. The rest of the crew would work together before, seven in all. Dallas, Ash, Kane, Ripley, Lambert. Waylon Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Hmm, I wonder why. Suspicious much? Anyway, I'll try and find the files later, clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of y'all look will rub off on my, me. I hear upstairs have an eye for you on something big. Huh. Okay.
Outbound and return transportation for Wayland Yutani Retrieval Team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three YTW employees. Samuel Ripley Taylor. Interstellar Communications Antenna Long Haul Hypersleep Chamber. Commercial Passenger Cargo Ship. Okay. Cool. I like getting little bits of backstory like that from uh, from things in the environment. It's cool. This spaceship is Hope sick, man. Had a rescue journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old empire colony. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docked yet? I believe your contact is Marshall Waits. Is that right? I'll hail Sebastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector lock. Who that? So I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing book? You can watch the approach on the monitors. I can watch the approach on the monitors? Yeah, hell yeah, I want to do that. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Too eager. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? Looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol. So it's got no docking bay? Carrying three passengers on a Wayland Yutani bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again. I don't mind that at all. The station's comm seem pretty screwed <laughs> up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. Okay. You can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You've heard from us by now. Huh? I so I have twenty four hours to, and then she goes. Stand by. My oh my! Doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Would you guys like to do this? Like, would you like to go out in space? I would like to be out there if I could like click my fingers and get there but the whole travel into space in the spaceship terrifies me I don't like flying anyway so what the fuck happened here they on a conveyor belt you're doing good oh they are on a conveyor belt We've lost two people already in the game. Surely they come back. Surely they can't be dead. Please. Wow. Okay. Dang. Game throws you right in solo. Okay.
Oh, okay. I was going to say, how do I get out? Find help. It's going to be difficult in this big space suit. Oh, thank Lord. I think changing will help. Haha! -ha! Okay. This is terrifying. Use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Oh! Ooh, nice. Okay. What, as in like... The emergency things being there means there's enemies nearby or they will warn me. Is that a ladder? No. Okay. Oh. Eh, ah. Oh! Okay. Ah! What was that scraping noise? Oh, I don't want to be in the vents. That's where the aliens hide. <gasps> oh, 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 na, 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 Don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even be tempted to do it. Just get out. That was spoopy. Okay. We are here now. Anything to... Oh, I can sprint! Yeah, boy! What are you saying? Folder corrupted. So boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sebastopol by now. And I can confirm it's official. Sebastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contractors and next placement. But for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with the skeleton crew. Which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But it does mean... Drop something. It does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to marshal weights. Oh. But then say, like, help yourself where you want, but then anyone found taking equipment that's weird. Okay. Ah, oh, I've got to walk over this freaking tightrope. Okay. Okay, that was meant to happen. 
I thought I'd messed up the game already. God damn. We're all right, Ripley. We're all right, we're all right. It's okay, hon. It's all right. Hold B to open the radial inventory. Nice, nice, nice. This, the amount this spaceship is rocketing and moving around. Oh, no, pick up, please. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. I want my flare back. Someone new. You always know working you always know a working Joe. Forgotten. F you. Strangers will be shot. Oh, Everyone is responsible for safety. Keep moving. Oh, that scares me. Does it have to be so loud? Take all. Oh man, this game sucks. Jazzy music. That's the only cheerful thing about this shit. Yeehaw! Okay. Oh, this looks scary. No one's gonna hear you whispering, Ripley. But I really don't want you to shout, to be honest, right now, so... Restore power. Keep out. This... This life for rent. Oh. Use these terminals to update your map with... I didn't read it fast enough. Cool. I mean, I can update the map, though. That's cool. Isn't anything here work? Find a way to restore power. Oh, but there's one of these here. Which makes me think there's going to be monsters. I did it. I'm gonna save. <laughs> 
Moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Oh. <laughs> also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe I'll teach you to take care of our stuff in future. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Sigson Court would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sebastopol over the years and hopes that Sigson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Sigson's Apollo Central AI and working Joe androids will be there to serve Sebastopol until the last river is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sebastopol isn't just a station, it's people. So the working Joe things are androids. Harris Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit is over. Waits out. Oh no. A track on what? Oh. Okay. Oh, I thought I did restore the power now. Maybe I just restored the power down there. No, I haven't restored the power. confusing oh zero three four zero yes oh, what do I need a sensor for please oh a med kit use B to access the crafting menu LB to build. Ooh. LB to craft. Oh, nice. Can I make another? I can't. I need an injector and I don't have one. Okay, well. Still, at least I can... Oh, nice. I can make a second one. Okay, cool. Two med kits. Aha. We're cooking with gas. People! Wait, wait, please. Uh -oh. Please wait for me. Please don't leave me. What are they running away from? Oh. What were they running from, guys? Can't get that way anyway. That might be a blessing. Okay, let's explore this spaceship. Uh, oh no. Oh, is that going to shock me? Why always with the darkness? <gasps> what the hell happened here? 
Wow, that is so cool. Look at the the atmosphere moving on the planet. I do, oh. Space man. Okay. Hello. The music is so intense, honestly. So, this might be a silly question because obviously I am torch required. Maybe you guys know because you've seen the films, but do they not know about the aliens? Like, I feel like it was kind of Amanda Ripley's job to put in that, you know, in that thing. In that blooming last commission signing off thing that she did. Like, please don't come out to space because there's horrible aliens here. Let's all stay on Earth and live happily ever after. Oh, is that it? It says Nostromo. Oh, I need to get in there. Okay, let's go up the stairs. <gasps> Hello, please. Hello. Oh, how do I? Who we'll put the shutters down? <laughs> oh, I can confirm I hate it here. <laughs> what is that noise? No bits to collect now. Restore power. Oh, the noises in this game are terrifying. Oh, something's beeping. Blair. Oh my god, this game, man, this game. Maria Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Wade finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Wade.
Chiefs and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a save point. Thank God. Where did that person go, though? Is what I want to know. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sebastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in red. Wait, no one's coming here anymore? And it's a store? So did, like, like space people, like, travel here like it's a shopping centre? Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. So fast Paul's finished. Time to move on. To all space flight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sebastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. Oh my god. I mean, that would cause panic, would you not think? Like, being like, hey, there's no flights out of here and you're stuck in space. Well, we're going to save that hecking game for realsies. Oh, is that a trap door? Oh, man. It's a vent. So whatever was in here went in the vent. Why, God, why? <sighs> okay. I feel like because I've saved the game that this is probably a good place to end the video. <laughs> because I'm a wimp and I don't want to go down the vent. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to end the game here. So I think we're going to end the video there for today. I am loving this game. I know it's terrifying for sure. Um, and I think that we are literally scraping just the tip of what this game has to offer. Um, but I'm very excited to start this series and delve deeper into the alien world with you guys. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. It helps me out a lot just to know that people actually enjoy my content more than anything else, really. Um, as always, I like to end my video with a random animal fact. Um, you guys have already had a random animal fact during the video. Um, but we'll find you another random animal fact from my wonderful sparkly blue book. So this is a really cute one, um, and I don't know if we've had it before in another video, um, but I've got a little fact here about red squirrels. So red squirrels are really endangered. Um, if you didn't know already, grey squirrels sort of took over, uh, and grey squirrels um, have actually depleted the population of red squirrels, and there's a lot of conservation projects in the UK trying to get red squirrels back. Um, but red squirrels, as a sign of affection, will touch noses with each other, uh, which is super cute. Um, so thank you again for watching this video. I really appreciate you sticking around until the end um, and can't wait to start another episode with you guys. Thanks again. Bye.